Hello everyone, today I'm flying into San Francisco to prolapse a few hipsters, but before I get there, let's do a quick episode of Explain Explained. This time I'll show you how to update the Google source in Ortho for XP. As anyone who uses Ortho for XP can attest, selecting the right source can be a bit like downloading porn via BitTorrent in the late 90s. You leave the download running, turn off your monitor and go to bed. And the next morning, much to your consternation, you awaken to find a video of a naked, morbidly obese man chasing a goat around the barn. Google and Bing are generally the best sources, however lately Google has been kicking me out like I've turned up at an Antifa meeting without a bike lock. On my quest for an answer I found a post which led to another post, to another post and to another post which eventually led me to this. This is a change to your Carnet addresses file in the main Ortho for XP directory. First of all, back it up by adding a .bak on the end. Scroll down to line 64, the beginning of the Google section. Create a blank line by pressing enter at the end of line 66. Paste in line 67 from GitHub. Copy line 71 from GitHub and use it to replace line 70 in the file, making sure you preserve the indentation. Remove line 72 to 81 and paste in line 73 from the GitHub, also making sure you preserve indentation. This part is vital. To save your file, go to Language, P and select Python. Now click Save and you're golden. As always, there'll be a link to Notepad and the GitHub source below. What you'll discover is that Google has stopped telling you to fuck off at the frequency it did previously. And when you are kicked, it instantly reconnects. If you begin to notice errors piling up like this, your only recourse is to uncheck the Check for White Textures box. Occasionally check your tiles directory to make sure you're not getting just blank files. In my next tutorial, I'll teach you how to fix some of the common issues with ortho tiles. Before I go, here's a little bit of news. Earlier this week, the guys at Laminar did a video Q&A on the current state of X-Plane. If you'd like to know what they're currently working on, what's coming down the line in 11.1, or you'd just like a deeper insight into how it all comes together, I'd highly recommend you take a look. As always, there'll be a link in the description below. I was going to cover Reshade in this episode, but if you're running Windows 10 and X-Plane 11, I recommend you avoid it. Currently, it has more bugs than a crack hole after a busy weekend down the docks. On that note, I thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to dislike or tell me to go fuck myself below.